We've all heard a few conspiracy theories in our lives. The Earth is flat. The moon landing was fake. Jackson Field never actually went to Singapore. It was all an elaborate part two to his I faked going to Europe video. But these are all just that. Conspiracy theories. Obviously. I mean, of course I went to Singapore. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I don't know why you would think I did. Conspiracy theories have always been around, but since the inception of platforms like Facebook and Twitter, allowing people to spew whatever crazy thought they came up with that day, conspiracy theories and misinformation have become more and more prevalent in our daily lives. But what if I told you that there was a new conspiracy theory that's taken the world by storm and just may be the stupidest one yet? Let me introduce you to the mud floods and the video I found that started it all. Oh, you son of a bitch. When you see red buildings like this, you know you're dealing with mud flood. Don't try and tell me this is a basement, bread dog. Don't do it. Don't listen. Remember the number one rule of a mud flood building? Steps that lead up to the front door. Come on, G. Look how big the doorway is. What's this? It's mud flood. Look, windows. I love it. Buried. Buried. You got your ass now. Look, with this window, they just gave up. They said, we know it's in the wrong place. We know something's not right. So we're just gonna just box it off. Look. Man can't tell me to sit mud flood. Come on, Bretta. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the fuck is this man talking about? What is a mud flood? And why is he so suspicious of a building with red bricks? And hey, I was right there with you. But don't worry, I'm here to enlighten you. Alright, let me just read this out to you. <clears throat> mud floods. Otherwise known as the Tartaria mud flood theory is a theory that a couple of hundred years ago, like literally the 1850s, mankind was almost completely wiped out by a cataclysm that put mud and dirt all over the buildings and streets that were actually not built by us, but a global civilization that existed before the event and that we just dug those buildings out and we're now just reusing them and living in them. That is insane. What are you talking about? Who actually believes that there was a global civilization that existed literally 200 years ago that we know nothing about? The slaves were freed in 1862. Are you tell me they knew nothing about Tartaria and the giant global civilization that covered the entire globe and, and this massive mud flood that covered all the buildings? Okay, buddy. It is an absolutely absurd thing to think about. It's less than 200 years ago. How would they have covered up a giant global disaster like mud covering every building that's ever existed and the fact that we would have to dig them all out to live in them. Are you that narcissistic that you think the world did not exist before you were born? Like, what are you saying? They argue that the mainstream scientific community has ignored or deliberately suppressed this evidence in order to maintain the status quo and avoid acknowledging the possibility that there may have been an advanced civilization that was wiped out by a natural disaster. Man. I hate all these theories on advanced ancient civilizations. What could possibly happen if one day scientists and archaeologists were just like, yeah, uh, Egypt, Egypt was actually really advanced. Oh my God, really? Did they have iPhones? No, but they moved a bunch of really big rocks around and made a 3D triangle. What? And they had iPhones? N no, just the, just the rock thing. Oh. Oh, okay. They also argue that the ruling elite have deliberately erased the memory of Tartari from history in order to maintain their own power and control over the population. Which again is something I hate about these theories. How would the knowledge that we dug a bunch of buildings out of mud and now live in them possibly impact society to the point that the ruling elite lose power and control over the population? Like, what would change? Hey, did you hear that uh, at one point this whole place was covered in mud and we dug it all out and now we live in it uh yep the uh tartaria mud floods yeah we we all know isn't that crazy uh yep 
Yep, it's pretty, pretty crazy. When you search the hashtag mud floods on TikTok, there's one account in particular that stands out amongst the rest. Practically the pioneer of the mud flood theory on the platform, and that account is one foul wow. And it's not just about the mud floods, he talks about all kinds of crazy little conspiracy theories on here that are all just insane as the last. But we'll get into that later. I'm not done with the mud floods yet. Let's take a look at this video because when I first saw it, I was like, he's absolutely right. Not, not about the mud floods, but the buildings are kind of strange. Why are all the windows half buried? Are there hobbits living in the basement? Kind of hope so. That'd be pretty cool. Well, the entire mud flood theory leverages on the fact that in the 1850s, there was a giant mud flood that covered all these buildings. And that's why all of these buildings are half buried. But they don't really take into account that it wasn't until the 1870s where Thomas Edison actually made a commercially viable light bulb. You know, the thing that illuminates people's houses when it's dark. Meaning that before the light bulb was invented, you had two ways to illuminate a basement. One was with lamps or candles, but I don't know if you've ever actually used one. They, they don't exactly admit the most amount of light. So the second option was windows. That's why there are windows so low to the ground, so it can let in some natural light so you can see what the fuck you're doing down there. Also, that building is that old. Can you imagine how many times the road has been redone around that area? Especially in the UK of all places, like, there's obviously been a little bit of layering going on here of bitumen and dirt and horse shit and stuff layering up. And the reason that a lot of these windows are either bricked up or boarded up is because of another thing I had no idea about until I started researching this, and that was window tax. Yeah, that's that's a real thing, window tax. You used to get taxed over the amount of windows your building had. So a lot of people would brick them up or board them up to avoid window tax. That's That's pretty much all it is. Also, would a mud flood not destroy every building, not just cover it in mud? What am I Of course it would. Of course a mud flood would destroy everything. A flood destroys everything. Why would a f flood made of mud not destroy everything as well? What am I saying? Oh my days. When you think you've seen it all, you ain't seen nothing yet. So all this time, we've only been touching the surface. You thought the pyramids was big. Well, guess what? They're even bigger. Dude, you know this is fake, right? This is this is not a real photo. How the fuck would they have taken this photo? Think about it. Sandra says, I knew it. Same as Easter Island. No, Sandra. It's a photo. It's not real. This this doesn't prove anything. Nicky Boy says, when was that photo of the pyramids taken? Nick, it's not real. It's not real, Nick. The photo doesn't exist. It's not a real photo! It's a fucking photo that someone made! It's not real! How the fuck would they have dug up half the desert to take that fucking photo in the first place? It's not a real photo, Nick! You idiot! I knew TikTok gave you brain rot, but this this is on another level. You know, for people that think outside the box and they're not like regular people, you know, they they, they think about things that the, the government doesn't want you to think about, and you know, they're not sheeple. They sure take a lot of things at face value. I mean, that's a photo that someone made. It's not real. For all you people who don't believe in mud floods, you better get ready. They're showing you what's about to go down. You saw what was going on in Pakistan. Oh my days. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. He might be onto something here. You're telling me that Balenciaga had a mud flood themed fashion show? Man. And that's the weirdest thing they've ever done. You know, a, a mud a mud flood fashion show. I think all the mud there. I mean, so it's lucky there were no kids there. You know, they could have slipped over. Right onto a pedophile. Now look, the mud flood theory is a little bit silly. A little bit goofy. A little bit wacky. A little bit clearly not real if you take two seconds to actually think about the words that are coming out of your mouth. But this page isn't just about the mud floods. Oh, oh, oh no. There are more conspiracies where that came from. What if I told you the giants used to live among us. What would the world be like if giants were still around? And this is something I want you to understand. There was a time on Earth when giants and smaller sized humans used to live as one. And because of the false history that we've been taught and religion, we've always viewed giants as savages or barbarians when in reality they was just as if not more sophisticated 
in smaller sized humans. They came in all creeds and colors, not just Caucasian giants, but black giants too. Oh my diddy. Who remembers the Shield Brothers from Texas? Every one of them was over seven foot tall. I would love to be one of those brothers. For the people who still don't believe that giants exist, this femur bone is still being displayed in a museum. And they say it belonged to a giant 14 to 16 feet tall. When I first saw this photo in particular, I was like, wow, that's, that's a pretty crazy. A 47 inch femur, human femur that they found. I mean, this this is huge news. Why, why is this not everywhere? Well, I did a little bit of research and as it turns out, there was actually a study and a research paper published investigating the dude that claims he found this. And well, the results may shock you. No giant femur was ever uncovered or undocumented as Taylor himself readily admits to. The changing story and lack of actual femur led to the natural conclusion that such a claim should not be taken seriously. Hey man, the proof is in the pudding right there. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up, but unfortunately, we're not done there. Now I'm sure by now, most of you have seen this photo flying around social media. It is a picture of the last Neanderthal. Oh my days. It says that this picture was taken in about 1901. And this Neanderthal was from the Netherlands. There's so much to our history that we do not know. But trust me, all will be revealed. Wow, that's, that is crazy. You're absolutely right. There is a lot about our history that we don't know. But we do know a lot about this photo in particular because uh, it's actually just an AI-generated mid-journey photo that was posted to Reddit on mid-journey subreddit. So it's, it's not actually real. It's, it's an AI-generated photo. So, so we do know that. We do know that. Look, I don't mean to be a party pooper bursting everyone's bubbles, poking holes in these conspiracy theories. You know, I, I feel bad about it. After all, there is one thing that he is right about, and that is the existence of dwarves. Oh, oh sorry, hang on. He isn't talking about people with dwarfism. He's talking about literal dwarves. Like Lord of the Rings dwarves. I tried to tell you that the dwarves was a race of advanced, fearless, Obvious, and you did not believe me. But when I say I got your ass, oh, I got your ass. So, in this day and age that we're living in, we hardly ever see dwarfs, and if we do, we never see them in a group. But did you know that the dwarfs was one of the most fearless? and fearful armies to have ever existed in human history. Why do you think that anytime they show you dwarves in history, they are some fearless red-headed warriors? They was fiery. I think this is where they get little man syndrome from. Because if you come across these dwarves, listen, they don't give a damn if you're six foot tall. They will make you look small. The truth is always hidden in plain sight. But the eyes are useless when the mind is blind. I mean, it has to be satire at this point. There's, there's no way this is serious. There's no way 1.2 million people follow him believing any of this stuff. I hope not. I'm all for questioning things, and I do believe that the government does lie to us a lot. Uh, but do they lie to us about giants or dwarves or mud floods? I don't think so. People so desperately want to know something that other people don't or like be in on something that everyone else isn't in on, like a secret club. That's like half the reason the flat earth theory exists. They don't understand how like the earth could possibly be round. So like someone saying, oh no, it's because the earth's actually flat. They're like, that, that actually makes sense to me. Yeah, I understand that. No, I'm not stupid. You're stupid. How could you possibly think that the Earth is round? That makes no sense. Flat is way more easy to understand. Flat makes way more sense. Why would you think it's round, big dummy? You big dumb idiot. Anyway, I thought this was a weird one, a weird page to stumble upon. I hope I haven't accidentally converted you into believing that the mud floods are actually real. Uh, that 
That is the opposite of what I wanted, but I thought it was funny to have a look at. Anyway, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment of a little water emoji because there's no mud emoji, so the, the water emoji is going to have to do. Anyway, with that, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.